what's good bro we back in here today we finally have some dragon ball fighters gameplay this is the first gameplay that we have seen so far from the new game dragon ball fighters that is announced to release in early 2018 i believe but anyway first thing i want to talk about is the gameplay speed just by looking at the trailer if you guys have not seen the trailer i'll have it at the end of this video but just by looking at the trailer i thought that this game was going to be way more fast paced than what it actually is i was actually a little bit scared because i didn't think that i would be able to keep up with the gameplay so yeah as you guys can see the gameplay is not as hectic as it seemed in the trailer well at least it seemed hectic to me in the trailer what i want you guys to do now is point your attention to the top right top left bottom right bottom left of your screen as you guys can see there's the health bars at the top there's the energy gauges or energy bars on the bottom now with the health bars it seems that you only get one health bar per character the reason for that is because you have three characters i believe and i don't think that they wanted us to be fighting one character forever and then moving on to the next character you feel me so only one health bar per character the fights will take way too long otherwise but now let's talk about the energy bars or energy gauges i don't really know what i want to call them but anyway let's talk about them as you guys can see while you punch your opponent or as you get attacked by your opponent your energy bar or energy gauge ends up increasing and this gauge can end up stacking up to six times and once you have enough energy you can do different things like supers or ultimates or even awakenings now with the supers they do a good amount of damage they do a good amount of damage they are not always going to hit your opponent and the same goes for the ults the ults actually take over 50 percent of your health bar and there's been a lot of talk about insta kills in this game i haven't seen any insta kills i have seen supers and alts end up killing people due to the fact that their health was so low but i have not seen any character just get completely taken out from an ult and one more thing that i want to point out with these ultimates and supers you can actually combo up with an assist from one of your teammates in order to use a team super i don't know if team ults will be in the game but in the trailer it looked to me like gohan was using a father son kamehameha and i would assume that that would be an ult i mean it has been for all of these years i don't know why they would change it up now but as you guys can see goku is now using a kamehameha and he's comboing up with gohan using his kamehameha even though gohan's move missed but regardless of that you guys just saw you can actually use assist in order to coordinate different moves together with your teammates and i think that's really cool i like that as I mentioned earlier in this video, you can also use your energy in order to make your character go into an ascended transformation or an ascended state, whatever you want to call it. All it takes is one bar in order to do so. And I don't know if I mentioned this earlier when I was referring to the ultimates and the supers, but one super takes one bar to use and the ultimate takes three bars to use. I don't know if I mentioned that, so I just figured I'd throw that up in there. But anyway, let's get back to these awakenings. It only takes one bar in order to go into an awakening and it'll make you have a power up, but after your awakening is over and yes these are temporary you go into a staggered state so that's not going to be something that you can just throw out there every time you get a little bit of energy in order for you to get stronger than your opponent you're actually going to have to use that tactically speaking of awakenings i don't know if this is going to be the case for every single character in this game but as you guys see every single character that's being showcased in this gameplay they're already in their super saiyan or final form except for majin buu of course but that could mean that we won't be getting these characters in their base form and that's not a good thing in my opinion i would personally prefer to have every character as a base form like I, I just want that to be an option for me to use by the way that isn't confirmed or anything but i just thought that i would mention that in this video other than that there's only been one thing that's been bugging me about this gameplay and that's the camera as you guys have seen whenever an opponent is knocked up into the air the camera has ended up focusing on one character only and that one character was normally the person who was knocked up into the air instead of zooming out and allowing every single fighter who's on the stage to be able to be seen but as i mentioned that's something that personally bothers me i'm not saying that it's bad for the game but it does bother me you guys might like it if so i mean that's you but that's pretty much it for this video if there's anything about this gameplay that i forgot to mention please drop a comment down below and bring it up it would be greatly appreciated and since we're talking about the comment section let me just say this now because it was really getting on my nerves there's so many people trying to hate on each other just because of someone's opinion some people are not going to like this game guys and other people are going to like this game you just need to accept that you know this game is not for everybody just because someone says that they don't want to buy this game because it doesn't have any CACs does not mean that they're committing a sin 
and also just because someone is saying that they are going to buy this game because it doesn't have CACs and because it's new doesn't mean that they're lame or anything like that. I don't know why so many people are hating on each other. It's an opinion. If someone doesn't want to buy this game, that's on them. If someone does want to buy this game, that's on them. You feel me? It, it shouldn't bother you whether someone likes this game or not. Everyone is entitled to their own opinion. I encourage everyone to play this game, at least try it out. There is going to be a closed beta that's supposed to be coming out before the end of the summer. At least try the game out before you say that you're not going to be getting it, okay? But if this style of game just isn't for you and you just don't want to play it, that's perfectly fine too. That's all I have for you guys in this video. Thank you for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to this channel for more content. Also, whenever I get any new information about any games that are uploaded to this channel, I always post it on my Twitter first, so make sure to follow me on Twitter if you have not already. Have a wonderful day. I'm out, bruh.